Have you ever tried them? Have you ever eaten? Have you ever eaten? Have you eaten sushi? Have you ever eaten sushi? Have you tried? Have you? Uh, where's it got it? Try and try. Uh, have you ever tried? Tried sushi? Have you ever tried sushi? Tried it? You've got to try it. The first time you do something, you try it. You try it. You try something. T R Y T R I E D. Have you ever tried sushi? But it sounds similar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it's a Thai word that it sounds similar to. Mm. Can can be confusing. Mm. Right, not barn. Barn. Barn unite. Barn is a place where animals live in England. And a farm. A farm, you have a barn. A barn. In Thailand you have a house. A house. B-A-H-N, is it? Barn. I'm not sure if it's that one. Or B-H-A-U. Is it B-H-A-N or B-A-H-N? Barn. Barn you know it. <laughs> Barn, English, means a house for an animal. An animal lives in a barn. Okay. So, but a barn is a house. <laughs> in Thai. Mm. But a barn is also a house based for an animal in English. So barn. A barn. Yeah. And you keep you keep um what do you keep in a barn? Uh, usually it will be um Ox, the cattle, the cattle will go into a barn, big, big, a big um, place with a roof over it to protect the animals. Mm. But a pig, pig could live in there, chickens, all the animals can live inside the barn to shelter. So now I have. So have you ever tried sushi? No, I haven't. But I'd like to. I'd like to. to. Mm. No, but I'd like to. Now, number three. Did you have, have breakfast today? Yes, I did. I ate. I ate. That word is not very well. Right, eat, eat. Now the word et is usually like that. Eight. But we pronounce it et. Eat, eight. Have you eaten yet? Have you have you have you eaten your breakfast yet? Yes, I ate my breakfast this morning. Now, what did you have for breakfast? Right, Jay, what did you have for breakfast? A ham chow. Coffee? Yeah, coffee, right. <laughs> I remember. No food. Nick, Nick, no way. Breakfast? Sticky rice. Right. Mm, interesting, right. Soy yogurt, yeah, anyone have soy yogurt? milk. Soy milk. Right. Breakfast. Did you have breakfast this morning? Soy rice. Yes, what do you have? Rice? Fried rice or something like that. Right, okay. Breakfast this morning? Uh, hot meat rice. Right. It's a beer rice. Let's have in the restaurant there? Uh, right? Near to the temple. Right, okay, good. Near to seven. Yeah. 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 Strawberry yogurt. Um, usually a yogurt. And maybe, maybe sometimes, um, 
toast, but I have to have bread. Put the bread in the toaster and then make some um, toast. Put some, spread some butter on it. And a cup of coffee. Yes, a cup of coffee. So, did you have breakfast today? Yes, I did. I ate a huge breakfast. Now, number four. Have you ever eaten, eaten, eaten? Have you ever eaten? Eaten. Have you ever eaten Mexican food? No, I haven't. But it says it. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Yes, I have. In fact, I ate some last week. I ate, 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 ate. I ate some last week. Many, many people don't say, yes, I had some. Yes, I had some. Right, so you can use that word, had, instead of et or ate. Have you ever, have you ever eaten Mexican food? Yes, I have. In fact, I had some last week. I had some just last week. I ate some. Or I had some. So I ate, I ate some, all right, or had some. I can be that word there. I or had. And number five. Oh, number five. Yes, number five. This one, Jay, will suit you. Did you, did you drink coffee this morning? Yes, I did. <laughs> I had some on my way to work. Right. right, so I had some on my way to work. Sometimes I drink tea. Right, yeah, cup of tea. Did you have did you have coffee this morning? No, I had tea. But usually, usually I have coffee. But sometimes I will have tea. Right. And in the daytime, no coffee, tea. I drink tea in the daytime. Some people they like coffee all the time. Coffee is just for breakfast, early in the morning. Right, so, and I did enjoy coffee at VMTN. Really lovely coffee. Yeah. Delicious. Different. Smells good, tastes good. Oh. VMTN. Wow, coffee. It says, here, now, it says here, listen to six people ask questions about food and drink in a restaurant. Check the other, no, we can't listen to it. Right, so next page. All right, speaking, right, speaking. Tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. We want to find out now. Have we have we ever drunk any of these or eaten any of these or done any of these things? Have we ever? So, have you ever drunk fresh?
coconut juice. Yes, yes I have, right? Yes I yes, have. Yes I have. Yes I have. Yes I have. Yeah. Where? Where did you get your coconut juice? In the packet or in the coconut? In the coconut. Yeah, fresh. Fresh. But you can get packet, a packet of juice from 7 Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> so you like fresh yes. or packet? Yeah. Fresh. Yeah, but I'm, I think the packet one is good for cooking. Tom Yam Kung. You pour, you pour it into the coconut milk. Yeah, coconut milk. Ah, oh, there's coconut milk and coconut juice. Yeah. You've never said. No. Coconut milk, coconut juice. Yeah, I'm getting confused now. So this is this is how you have it. Yes. Yes. So you've got a big knife. Oh, you've got to climb the tree, shake the coconut. Have you ever drunk fresh coconut juice? Mm, yes, I have, but mm, it's a bit sweet. It's too sweet for me. Coconut juice yeah, is too sweet. Yeah. So I like I like coconut. Inside the coconut, you break it open and eat the skin. The, yes, coconut skin. Yeah. Not the soft one, not the soft one, the one that's like rubber. You've got the thick skin, the very thick skin. That's nice. Yeah. Have you ever been to a vegetarian restaurant? No, I haven't. I have never been. I have never been to a vegetarian restaurant because I only like to eat meat. Yeah, but not fruit. Mm -hmm. Not Mr. God. <laughs> right. So, have you ever been to a vegetarian restaurant? Yes. Yes. No, I haven't. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Have you been to a vegetarian restaurant? No. no. Yeah. Would you like to go? Would you like to go to a restaurant vegetarian just to find out if it's good? Ooh, it might be something worthwhile if you can find a vegetarian uh, restaurant in a soy. Eat, eat some vegetarian food. No meat. No meat. I like meat. Now, number three. Have you ever had an unusual ice cream flavour? So, if you've got, to, you've got to go to an ice cream shop yeah, to get, they specialise in making ice creams with different flavours. Yes, um, yeah, so they're expensive. Go to 7 Eleven. Just get, just get it, an ice cream, vanilla. Vanilla, uh, so strawberry, strawberry ice cream, vanilla, strawberry, and then there's the three colour, three colour, white, strawberry, and a, it's not chocolate, ah, chocolate ice cream, yeah, you get a green colour, a green, white, and red, uh, and then there's a chocolate one, chocolate one. And then how about the passion fruit ice cream? Oh no, I'm not trying that. I drink it, I drink passion fruit. It's very, very tasty, but it's a different taste now. Passion fruit is half sip sweet and half sip sour. sour yes. Yeah, sweet this and is, sour. This is an unusual ice cream. That's unusual ice cream, yeah. You can get it, you can get all sorts of different flavours now of ice cream, but it's expensive. Yes. So that, that's an unusual ice cream, an unusual ice cream flavour. Mm. Best, the best ice cream I've had is cream, cream ice cream, a very creamy one. Mm, got a nice taste to it. I can't remember where I've got it now. Near, near Nakompatong. 
where, the, where there's, there's a big farm, a big farm with sheep on it, lots of sheep. Mm, and you, you can go to the farm and they sell ice cream there. And it was delicious. I had one ice cream, then two, 